Developing and offering programs of education to deliver e-leadership skills is the unquestioned prerogative of Europe's institutions of higher and executive education. The present initiative aims to support communication about e-leadership educational programs, that is, programs delivering learning outcomes contributing to e-leadership skills. Finding education for executives in Europe is a challenge. E-leadership education programs do not really exist. The European e-leadership initiative builds on the Euro CIO executive education programme identified as best practice. This executive education programme was developed in order to better match the skills development needs of the industry to the academic programmes produced by the providers. The Euro CIO partnership in the European e-leadership initiative helped to develop curriculum profiles. These build a mechanism to tackle that very challenge. As EuroCIO we developed an executive education program and the reason why is that we have to educate our internal people to e-leaders. We see that a lot of technical people with good background are not good enough at the business side but we also see that business people have not the right skills to understand technology to their own benefit. So what we do, we develop an, have developed an education program for a number of people, future CIOs, future architects, future security officers, future program manager, project leaders. And um, we develop what we call dual thinkers. So people understanding technology at the one side and business at the other side. That's a new kind of education. We are developing that since a couple of years, four years now with uh, top universities all over Europe. Uh, seven in total at the moment and that is fully aligned with the thinking of the European Commission uh, in the e-leadership program. It is exactly the same, we need another type of professionals to lead our companies and to change our companies and we hope to work together with the European Commission on this program for many years. The European e-leadership initiative created e-leadership education delivery tools for stakeholders. The intention was to scale up the existing intensive process of defining programme content in cooperation between employers and business schools and universities. E-leadership curriculum profiles, which constitute a format for profiling higher and executive education programmes and their underlying curricula, were developed. The core of these curriculum profiles is a set of learning outcomes, which are judged by academics and employers as essential to drive decision-making competence on ICT innovation, particularly at sea level. Moreover, the skills and competences required by an e-leader are specified and use the e-competence framework. Work with stakeholders in this process revealed a need for a number of different profiles of e-leadership, with professional topics from enterprise architecture to security and governance. Each such curriculum profile is validated by the involvement of knowledge holders from industry. The European CIO Association very much believes that curriculum profiles offer a fantastic vehicle to link the strengths of the academic world and supply side, the programmes they're developing, to match the needs that industry has, driven by the skill shortfall that we have now and certainly expect in the future. The competence framework is a great vehicle for matching the skills that we need. We want to see the e-competence framework embedded in our processes in terms of recruiting and retraining staff, uh, all those things that we need to make us competitive on the European stage. Up until today, three e-leadership curriculum profiles were developed, which all map onto the European e-competence framework. These are Innovation and Transformation through ICT, aimed at the people in your organisation responsible for driving digital transformation. Business and enterprise architecture, aimed at a fundamental role within your enterprise for truly aligning business and IT. And information security governance, aimed at developing e-leadership skills for those individuals responsible for securing your environment from cyber threats. So at the University of Antwerp and the Antwerp Management School, we strongly embrace the leadership initiative of Europe. And to uh, give you two examples in terms of teaching and research, um, in terms of teaching, we have been assessing our curricula on e-leadership against the e-competence framework of the European Commission. And we have also very recently developed a new cyber security program based on the information security profile uh, as developed in the context of this initiative and we are doing that together with Tias Nimbas uh, in the Netherlands. 
Also, we are currently trying to find ways to include SMEs into our educational programs to make sure that also these SMEs can grow their e-skills over time uh, in Europe. In terms of research, we are also trying to uh, develop new uh, projects in the context of e-leadership. Specifically, for example, we are working on how to engage with non-executive board members and to grow e-skills also at that top-down level um, in companies, which we think is very important together with the European Commission. Since the e-leadership curriculum profiles are directly mapped to the ECF, the transparency of higher and executive education programmes in the market as to what they deliver in terms of skills, competences and learning outcomes has improved even further. Excel is already 30 years uh, involved in measuring the e-competences of ICT professionals. And we believe that the ECF is a great tool for our customers to have insight in the competence of their workforce. And now the e-leadership curriculum profiles are using the ECF for more transparency in this area. I think our customers and we can profit from this very much. E-leadership curriculum profiles were developed in close collaboration with industry and supported by EuroCIO. Already, more than 20 universities and business schools in 12 countries have successfully carried out the self-assessment and mapping of their programmes to these CPs. They report very positively about their experiences in using the curriculum profiles for their assessments and conclude that they have found them very useful for improving programmes and education experiences. They are confident that other institutions of higher education in many European countries will come to the same conclusion when using them. Executive education at my university, that's St. Gallen University in Switzerland, has been a core area of activity for many decades. We possess full accreditation, very nice reputation and top ranking positions in St. Gallen. We offer a very broad portfolio of executive education programs from short seminars to executive MBA flagship programs. We have been working with the e-leadership initiative to be able to provide exactly the right mix of skills um, demanded for executives in top enterprises across the world to enable them to lead innovation using information technology. We aim to provide a successful education programs tailored to meet individual needs and have already have two programs closely aligned to those new curriculum profiles. I come from IE Business School, which belongs to a top-ranking business school in Madrid. At IE Business School in Madrid, we teach a whole series of combined ICT and business-related content. This year, IE has taken the e-leadership curriculum profiles on board as part of our strategic approach to excellence in leadership education. Our program on digital innovation and ICT governance has been fully aligned with the new profiles and being part of the European Commission initiative generates even a stronger interest from our participants. At the Henley Business School for years, we used the EuroCIO requirements to develop our programs and map them accordingly and develop them further. In our executive offerings, like the EuroCIO executive program, we try to include these ideas and capabilities around our business enterprise architecture programs to really be at the forefront of thinking around IT-led business models and e-leadership. At the Henley Centre for Engaging Leadership, we try to push this idea even further and think, what does a strategic mean in e-leadership? What is strategic leadership and what can, is, can it add to CIOs around the world? We need to think about how IT-led business models can actually create purposes for the entire organisation, mobilise all employees around galvanising purposes, but also bridge the silos that we often find when we come from an IT-led understanding of the business and driving our business and value creation forward. So we try to think about these long-term ideas and put them in our executive education over time to push the boundaries of leadership in the future. E-leadership curriculum profile represents a good opportunity for academic institutions around Europe, especially in Spain, to adapt current curricula or start new ones, having a look at the ECF competences framework started by European Commission. 
I think that this opportunity is uh, not just an opportunity, but uh, a kind of commitment for all academic institutions on uh, new needs for organizations, companies and public institutions. This age of the global digital transformation, leadership skills are essential. That's why it's so important to focus on e-leadership, the capability to combine managerial capabilities for change and IT skills. Only then can we use the e-skills initiatives results and the future leadership potentials in Europe. My name is Mariusz Mazurkiewicz. I'm representing here the Faculty of Computer Science and Management of Wrocław University of Technology. We decided to take part in this event as a faculty, as a local organizer in this event, because we recognize the idea of eldership as a very important idea in our day-by-day -day activity. We recognize that the leadership approach, a leadership idea and a leadership conference will help us to improve our study program, our curriculum, and it will be a great opportunity to exchange experiences and also to share our experiences in this field. In our day-by-day -day work, the idea of good education, high-quality education and the idea of a leadership, including the idea of a leadership uh, as the idea in the space between IT and business is very important because our faculty in activity is concerning on education in the in between two fields computer science and management and I think this event and also this idea and knowing of this idea will help us to improve our day-by-day -day activity in the faculty on the faculty level and also will improve our strategy for the future development. In addition, business schools and universities may apply for cost-effective peer-based quality assessment of programmes against the quality criteria, including in particular assessment of conformance to the selected e-leadership curriculum profile, which has been developed as part of the European e-leadership initiative. At ASIN, we certify the quality of higher education programs in Germany and abroad. So, we have developed a quality assessment approach for education programs in the European Commission initiative on e-leadership. The core is compliance with the EuroCIO curriculum profile listing specific e-leader skills. ASIN welcomes applications from institutions of higher and executive education wishing to have the quality of their e-leadership programs certified independently. We are on course preparing for cooperation and processes together with EuroCIO for being able to certificate e-leadership programs in a very lightweight procedure. It is intended to include the educational offers which have gone through that process in the published list of e-leadership programs. This will provide a new dimension of transparency and decision support urgently needed by industry stakeholders to obtain the necessary type of future-orientated skills and e-leaders needed to remain innovative and competitive in global markets. The European e-leadership initiative has been instrumental in achieving these goals, with its curriculum profile approach supporting higher and executive education institutions in programme revision and design towards e-leadership. As the European Commission e-leadership initiative matures, governance, operation and execution needs to be transferred to trusted key actors and stakeholders, ensuring that governance processes are as lightweight as possible. Secondly, the European CIO Association has agreed to take responsibility for these curriculum profiles and to work with all stakeholders who have an interest to continue to develop this exciting area. The Euro CIO HR and Education Council welcomes all academic providers to submit their programmes for assessment against the relevant curriculum profile. A website will be launched early next year to facilitate this exercise. Thirdly, top European associations and key stakeholders like Digital Europe, Euro CIO, CIO Net, Exin, ASIN and APMG have agreed to establish an industry-based governance ecosystem that will promote effective e-leadership programme development, quality assessment and recognition. Finally, many universities and business schools subsequently carried out an assessment of their programmes against the requirements of e-leadership encapsulated in the curriculum profiles to assess the viability of the concept.
The curriculum profiles have been accepted as facilitating dialogue between education and industry about required learning outcomes and are used to improve programmes and education experiences by institutions of higher education already in 12 European countries and in more than 20 universities and business schools. It is expected that in the future an even greater number of educational institutions will team up with industry to roll out a range of courses based on e-leadership curricula while redefining and enhancing teaching formats. The results of the e-leadership initiative were presented and discussed with around 300 experts at an international conference in Brussels in December 2014. The experts confirmed the need for a strong e-leadership education ecosystem, which requires the active collaboration of multiple stakeholders, including industry and higher and executive education institutions throughout Europe. They appreciated and endorsed the approach taken by the e-leadership initiative and encouraged the European Commission, industry, education institutions, national governments and relevant key stakeholders to quickly become active in implementing the necessary governance and management structures. Further activities are already being initiated by the European Commission with the European Commission, DG Internal Market, Industry, Entrepreneurship and SMEs launching the complementary e-leadership skills for small and medium-sized enterprises action in 2014. This Commission initiative is complementary to the one on new curricula for e-leadership and focuses on entrepreneurs, managers and advanced ICT users and SMEs, startups and gazelles. Further European Commission activities include the ones on ICT professionalism, Proposal for a Pan-European Foundational ICT Body of Knowledge Key Enabling Technology Skills Initiative Vision and Sectoral Pilot on Skills for Key Enabling Technologies Further European Commission activities will follow in 2015 and 2016 with the launch of a large Europe-wide promotion campaign on e-skills for new jobs and another activity on the promotion of e-leadership skills in Europe aligned to the promotion campaign.